Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today, we actually got some news yesterday about Life is Strange. So, it was kind of obvious that this was going to happen, but we've got full confirmation about Life is Strange 3 True Colors Remastered, whatever you want to say. But basically, Life is Strange tweeted that they're going to be at E3 2021. They're going to be returning for the live stream on June 13th. So if we look at the calendar, June 13th is actually on... Wait, is this... Oh my gosh, it's Sunday. I did not realize it was Sunday, but... Yeah, it'll be on Sunday, so... That means that they're going to be showing Life of Strange True Colors, and they're showing as well some other um, stuff, such as Marvel's Avengers, most likely the Spider-Man update, and they're going to be showing Balloons Fall. I'm not sure what that is exactly, but that's what they're going to be showing. But yeah. I'm honestly pretty excited just because of the fact that we're finally going to get more information about Life is Strange True Colors, even though we've gotten a lot of inf information already. Another thing that's interesting is that they also mentioned that they're going to be showing the Life is Strange Remastered. I'm not sure if they're going to show it in like a different live stream or they're going to show it on this particular live stream. I'm assuming this live stream they're going to show the Life is Strange Remastered, so that'll be pretty exciting. But yeah. I want to talk about like my expectations on like what we could see with Life is Strange True Colors and the remastered just because we didn't really get that much information about it. Well, what I mean is like we've got a bunch of information, but since the game is coming out pretty soon, they're gonna give us like more information. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. Anyways, Life is Strange True Colors. I'm gonna be talking about my expectations on like what we're gonna be seeing there. I think it's possible that we could be getting a possible demo gameplay either available on like steam or something but i think that's the best way to advertise the game i know life is strange before storm had a playable demo i believe at e3 so i feel like it'd be pretty cool if they can give us a playable demo in maybe on steam or on the xbox store or playstation store that's a little bit far-fetched so i'm not sure if that's going to be happening but I would love to see a playable demo, in my opinion, just to be playable, you know, for us to play. Because usually they usually have, ugh, I can't talk. Usually they have the playable demos at E3, but since obviously E3 is cancelled in person, it's only going to be online. It'd be pretty cool to have the playable demos be on the same. You can have Deck 9 games be like, and now we're going to announce that there will be a 15 minute demo of Life is Strange True Colors that you could play. You can play the first 15 minutes of the game on Steam, PS5, whatever, in Xbox Store. I think that would be amazing in my opinion. I hope they do that, but there is a risk of them doing that because I know when Telltale Games did this with The Walking of the Final Season, the files of the game got leaked, so there were spoilers inside the game files, so that's kind of like the risk that they do if they were to make a demo, but... I'm sure they're smart enough to know that, hey, make sure to take out certain files so that way people can't figure out what the heck the game is about or like direction choices, whatever. So hopefully they're smart enough to do that, but I honestly would love a playable demo that we could play. They're definitely going to show a demo either way, like they're going to definitely show new gameplay of like a segment in episode 1. I think that's definitely going to happen. They're most likely going to show like a choice scenario and like to show the powers more of like how Alex's emotions work. I think that's definitely like more gameplay that they're going to show. Obviously we already got the release date for that so I don't think they're going to announce that. Uh, uh, what am I saying? <laughs> but yeah, it feels so weird that they announced everything all at once in the beginning like when it got announced. Like I feel like they could have announced the release date at E3 but they decided to announce it like way back in like April? Was it April? I think it was April of March. That was like, they're crazy. <laughs> like, they announced everything in the beginning, which is fine, but like, it's so crazy how Life is Strange True Colors is coming out soon. But yeah, that's pretty much all I could think of for Life is Strange True Colors, in my opinion. New gameplay, and then maybe a demo that they'll announce, and then maybe they'll talk about a little bit about Steph's DLC episode. That's really all I can think about that, could, that they can talk about, in my opinion. But yeah, for Life is Strange Remastered, I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm i pretty hyped for True Colors, but Remastered, I think everyone's a little bit more hyped for. Kinda disappointing in my opinion, just because, you know, 
new game, but people rather have a remaster. But I can understand the hype. Like, obviously, it's the original game. It's what the game started with, so I can understand why people are excited for the remaster a little bit. But yeah, it definitely looks beautiful. The unfortunate thing um, is that we haven't really got any gameplay yet. We really only received like screenshots, snippets of screenshots, and really just a teaser f that's not even actual gameplay. It's just a teaser showing the model sort of in like the true detective style. But yeah, my expectations for Life is Strange Remastered. They're gonna announce the release date for the individual standalone games if you're not gonna buy with the Life is Strange True Colors bundle because obviously they want people who bought the Life is Strange True Colors bundle to have it first but I think they're definitely gonna announce the remastered like separation like standalone um, edition so definitely I think we'll get that for sure. Another thing is that I think we're, we're, we're for sure getting gameplay like we're for sure getting gameplay. They need to make the event long somehow, so I don't see why they can't show gameplay. But yeah, with the gameplay, it's pretty interesting because they could... Since Life is Strange already came out, they can literally do whatever the heck they want. They could show like... I think they're just gonna focus on Life is Strange 1, in my opinion. I... Yeah, I think they're just gonna show Life is Strange 1 since it's like... Since it's like the original original, so... They're gonna be showing that for sure. And... I'm not sure what they can show from Life is Strange 1 because literally they can show anything from that snippet of gameplay. In my opinion, I think they could possibly be showing maybe a scene with Max and Chloe, like a special moment with them. Just because I don't see why you would want to show off the choices because it's not like the choices change. You want to show like the memorable moment, like for example, like Max and Chloe being remastered and looking all like fully like graphical is that the word i don't know you obviously want to show them that so the only iconic scenes i could think of at the top of my head at the moment i know the swimming pool scene from episode 3 everyone loved that scene from life is strange people probably want to see that as like a gameplay trailer maybe when max and chloe first meet up that'd be, that'd be a good way to like show off the new remastered they're obviously not going to show the ending for episode 5, that'd be a little bit weird, but I don't know. I'm probably wrong, they're probably just going to show a trailer highlighting like everything from Life, Life is Strange and Before Storm. I think that's what most likely is going to happen, but of course I would love to see gameplay to see how it like functions, you know? Like how it looks like graphically while playing, that's just my opinion. But yeah, that's kind of like it for this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy the Life is Strange news on... Life is Strange True Colors and the Remastered. I really want to know you guys' opinion on like what you guys think will be seen at E3. I'll definitely be reacting to this. Um, I'll be reacting to this in my bedroom so I won't be downstairs recording on my phone as a camera because I can't use my bedroom at certain times in case nobody knows. So, Luckily it's a Sunday so I'll be able to record but for the rest of E3 I'll be recording downstairs in my kitchen. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, share, subscribe. It really helps our channel a lot, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. And yeah, I didn't mention this before, at least, did I? I don't, no, I didn't mention this, but I actually graduated recently. You can look at my YouTube community post as well, <laughs> for proof. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully I can be making more videos. I do want to record more Let's Plays, of course, but there's some discussions I really want to do. So we'll see what's happening, and then maybe I'll think of nice some ideas, but yeah. That's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later for another video. Goodbye!